day 40. Um, we're leaving Leon this morning. This is the inside of the monastery where we stayed. We actually stayed in this building, up those stairs there. And uh, anyway, I just want to show you something that was here um, two years ago. When we were here with Joey and Teresa and Jean and Vanessa, they made these rocks. And they're still here. There's Teresa and Jean. And the date they were here. Uh, where is the date? I don't know. There you go. Oh, there it is, right on the bottom. Oh, yeah, perfect. June 12th. No, or June 28th. Yeah, I can read. And then Joey's and Vanessa's. People do this. They make rocks, they write things on them. They were actually here 27th, but they did the day before. And Vanessa. And this one, you pick it up and it says, Put me down. Yeah, way to go around. Anyway, people have been doing this for a while. There's just rocks on this table, paperweights, and that. Yeah, pretty cool. That was from 11. Yeah, I was from 11. Anyway, I just wanted to show you those. It was two years ago I was here. It's a sober day. Just leaving Leon still. We're going to be leaving Leon for a while. It's not very pretty most of the way. Right now it is though. This is kind of neat. Not sure what it is, but it's a neat square with the car driving through it. Still in Leon. Walking the other side, we're coming up upon one of the most famous sites, or more famous sites, on the Camino. And uh, if you ever saw the movie The Way, this plays a role in that. But it has always played a role in the Camino as well. When I get there, we'll look at it, even though a lot of you have seen it before if you saw my videos last year. But it's such a cool place. So what we have now is the Parador Hotel. That at one point wasn't a hotel, but it is now. Before it was, I want to say a monastery. I know I've been here twice and I can't exactly tell you what it was, but a monastery and a pilgrim's hospital um, in the old days. Anyway, in the movie, they weigh, they come and actually stay here one night. Martin Sheen pays for it. Anyway, it's a really neat, neat old building. We're still leaving the own, but we've come across another hobbit village on both sides of the street. Nicolas taking a picture, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. If you look up on this hill, you can see all the little chimneys. And, ooh, somebody's even got a flag on top of theirs over there. Yeah, I have no idea what they're for. This one's kind of neat. That one over there. It's got a fence in front of it, though, so you really can't see it too well. But we'll go up to it. Yeah, I wish you knew what these were all about. Goes down, and there's a door. And they got benches. What's going on here? Finally into our first town outside of Lyon. This is La Verge del Camino and we're right along the main route now. Lots of cars, lots of speed. It's also where we get to make a choice. Today there's a variant again. So we're going to decide if we take the variant to a new town. I think we might. But geez, I'm still not feeling great. So to we'll see how far albergues are in the variant because that'll really play a role. I didn't sleep at all last night, so uh, yep. Anyway, sun's out already back there somewhere. I don't know if you saw that or not. Oop, there's my finger. Okay, so here we have a French man very smiling, uh, eating French toast in Spain for breakfast. That's pretty cool because normally. They don't eat that for breakfast. They have hard toast and jelly and other things. Well, board this cafe, just hanging out. So we're here in, uh, actually I think it's Valverde del Camino. La Virgen del Camino ran right into it. It's like we crossed the street, we were in the town. But now we're really coming up on the split. And since the albergues in both directions are equidistant, we are going to go the alternate route. So we got about 14 kilometers, two and a half hours maybe. A little slow today because of me. All right, we'll see you in a bit. So here we are on the alternate route. They go to Villa Mazarife. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's many people in front of us at the moment. You never know. Are there people behind us? Oh yeah, someone's following us. So it's not just us. This guy must be the variant route guy because last time, we saw them as well. This one's much more colorful. Colorful! Blah. Boy, I can't talk today. I'm sick though. 
Anyway, I think the view is going to be much nicer than the other one. At least we're hoping it will be. We're not going that way. Um, oh yeah, there's a little guy over there again. See, we're following that guy. I can't tell what he is. A rat, a mouse, a cat. Could have been a cat. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with cat. Though he's got that mailbag. I don't have one of those. I don't have a gourd either. Or a hat. At least not like that. So far, the view is actually somewhat better. Can you hear the power lines? I'm making some noise up there. If I had a fluorescent light, I could pull it out and probably light up. Anyway, um, but we're on the road. So this is weird. They were actually following the road for this variant. But it's not a busy road. I think we've seen one car. And I'm amazed that another one hasn't come by. I haven't been filming. But there's a lot of ups and downs, it looks like. And I really don't know how far we went or how far we're going to go. I mean, I do know how far we're going to go, but uh, GPS isn't working right now because Rob was dumb and let the iPhone die yesterday. Ah, so it's back to its old reset, reset, reset. Hopefully this video works. So my road is no longer paved, but it's still a road. But it's very lightly traveled, so it's going well. Except for a couple pilgrims up there. We finally see some. We'll just give you a view. Looking back, room number four. We haven't done that in a while. Hopefully the phone stays alive long enough to finish the shot. Been having problems with that today. Whew. Okay, I'll give you a little bit more because I like the sun, you know that. So we're coming up on our next town here. Uh, it says, Bienvenidos, welcome, welcome. It doesn't say where we are though. So, hmm, I don't know where we are. Hopefully there's a bar. We'll see, Buen Camino. That's weird. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of one of those uh, things the fire company uses to practice fires and hoses and running upstairs, but here in Spain? Oh, look at that bar. Yeah, we need that. Mainly for the bathroom. Yeah, y'all need to know that. So, this is the bar we just stopped at to, to have a drink, use the restroom. We have this cool bell tower here in the middle of town. I mean, clearly it's not old, but it's kind of neat looking. It's got a sign over here too. I'm going to go check that out and see if it says anything important. I don't know if it does or if it doesn't. Maybe it's just talking about the church. I don't know. But if you can read it, yeah, it's talking about the church and services and stuff. I guess this is the church. Pretty cool. We're back on the road road. Here, there have been a few cars from time to time, but hasn't been terrible. Still better than the walk to uh, San Martin, which is right along the road the whole time. Anyway, I think that's our town around the corner there. A couple kilometers. We'll be there an hour from now. We hope to be asleep. So here we are, finally at our town, Pilar de Mazarife. This is kind of neat. I like the fence and I like the, the wall there. That's pretty cool. Check that out. Yeah, neat. And a little pilgrim there. I have no idea what this place is, but it's neat pile of rocks there. All right, now to find an albergue so we can get a bed and sleep in it. Okay, so this is the albergue here in Villar de Majorife. At least I think that's what the name is. Um, I'm just going to show you the inside real quick. This is a very neat one. People have written comments all over the walls. I mean, there's lots of neat stuff to, to read. A lot of it in languages I can't understand. That's the kitchen. That's the computer room. Not gonna be in use right now. But just like, ooh, that's the bar over there. We haven't been there yet. So our stomach's not feeling really well. But everywhere, on every wall, even in the rooms, people have written stuff. Some just, you know, funny quotes. Others, you know, really important things. Hey, there's one in English. Let's read that one. Ow! I just hit my head. To my brother Kenny, I knew for 10 years. You made me laugh, you made me cry. I was too young to watch you die. I held on tight. I've been lost for years without you, and I'm grown and tall. Be with me, spirit, to help me become a man. I will carry your ashes to the stair. With every step, I get closer. Yeah, people do the Camino for many different reasons. Anyway, they even written on the ceilings. Fellowship of the Camino. Some of it you can't read very well. Well, continuing from that wall we just read to uh, this one right here that says, Mind your head, yo. 
Yeah, I wish I would have read that before I slammed my head into it. Anyway, I'm going to come upstairs with a little bit more. Yeah, I had to cut this up into pieces because my phone won't stay on for like more than a minute. All right. May the wind blow from behind, and before we meet again, may you be safe in the palm of God. There's quite a few things in English. Ooh, this is neat. Check that out. There's some pilgrims. There's some pretty creative people around here. Pilgrims are kind of cool. Um, wow, that's like Skeletor Pilgrim. Wow. Anyway, it's also one of the coolest places because it only costs us five euros and we get our own beds. They're not bunk beds. Check that out. But people have written all over these walls too. I'm not going to read any more to you until I figure out what I'm going to write. Oh, we'll go outside. Hopefully my phone doesn't reset again before I get this. Oh, out of God comes all things. God loves all of his creation. Not one soul will be lost. Hmm. Anyway, this is the outside. And this is the overflow. We have beds on the floor, just in case you need them. Go Spain.